couple months ago, I shared about Bloop, my opinionated boilerplate on making websites. There's a whole chain of tools that I go in depth on. And I made this documentation series just like for myself in a way, like I wanted to share it with my team, with colleagues, with people that I make websites for as like a documentation. And the web is just like a beautiful place. There's like a lot of interesting stuff. It's sort of open source world where there's like forums and people helping. And in the spirit of that, I decided to make the videos a little more polished, put them on YouTube in a way that could be enjoyed or understood by anybody. And uh, yeah, it was really cool getting some feedback, some genuine questions from people that like I didn't know. And then I met the Live Canvas team themselves and we got talking and yeah, they wanted some help making a couple videos. So like, to me, this is crazy to see, but like today's video, introducing Live Canvas version four. This is a video that I made. And uh, yeah, I made this one on short codes. Short codes was interesting. I picked that as the first video because it was a feature I already knew. I, unlike version four, where I'm gonna have to like learn a bunch of stuff and then explain it. Short codes, it's like, hey, we're already learning lots with just defining a workflow and collaborating together. So pick something safe. And then uh, I, I learned a few things that, <laughs> that I hadn't known before, or at least hadn't clicked for me. So I'm learning lots just by doing this. And I think it was uh, Richard Feynman who said, if you really want to learn something, teach it, because that forces you to, to learn it for yourself in a more deep way as you predict the questions that you're going to get. So really awesome. I'm really thrilled to be working with these people and on like on this really important tool in WordPress. Um, it is weird timing because there's been a lot of drama in WordPress the last six weeks. And uh, through that, I've learned that I really like Live Canvas more than WordPress. Like, I like a CMS that a non-nerd can use. They can just go in there, use a page builder. There's some intuitive tools in there. But that it allows me as a more advanced user to get under the hood. I'm going to go in there and just edit some HTML. So it's like best of both worlds. And uh, so, yeah, I love Live Canvas. And I'm just, like many, I have a lot of concerns about sort of the direction WordPress is going in right now, sort of hurting the community, picking weird fights, making weird decisions, saying that the controversy is about this one thing, but then just like attacking in lots of different ways that are kind of contrary to that and unprofessional. And so, um, yeah, I do believe that WordPress is going to be fine. Uh, I think this is going to be a messy time, uh, a time that could hurt WordPress's reputation. But Live Canvas is solid and it allows you to build in WordPress in a way that is like pretty safe in, in the sense that you can migrate to other things. There's other options. I'll probably make a video about that in the future. That's something I've proposed. But anyway, I thought I'd just share on my channel because I got about 30 subscribers through making the Bloop series. And uh, yeah, I hope you check out what's going on on the Live Canvas channel. Um, we've got some interesting ideas in the works. And so, yeah, uh, that's, that's it for now. But uh, for anybody who did like, comment, and subscribe or whatever, thank you for that. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not planning to be publishing stuff very steadily here or necessarily even on the same topic. But uh, yeah, it's just weird times. Um, anyway, if you're not following the WordPress drama, Maybe don't for mental health. Maybe check on it once a week. That's what I'm trying to do. And um, yeah, I, I think it's a good time to set up an uptime monitor on your website if you haven't, because there's just been weird stuff happening. So all the best.